Hi, I'm Brian with Ferronics Technical Support, and in this video, we will be going over the installation of Ferronics Deep Freeze Enterprise. To install Deep Freeze Enterprise in your environment, you will first need to install the Deep Freeze management tools on the machine where you'll be managing your Deep Freeze client workstations. From the management tools, you can then create the Deep Freeze workstation install package, which we can run on the workstations to ultimately install Deep Freeze, freeze them, and protect them. To start, download the Deep Freeze Enterprise install package from Ferronics.com or from Ferronix Labs. Once you have the package downloaded, extract the contents of the compressed folder and look for the DFENT file. Once again, install this on your management machine. You can start by simply double-clicking on the file, click Next, accept the Terms and License Agreement, click on Next. Enter the license key which you can get from Ferronics Labs or you can use the fully functional 30-day evaluation. If you are using the 30-day evaluation, note that the workstations will go back into a thawed state after the 30-day period. Once this is done, click on Install. Click on OK once the installation is completed successfully. You will now be prompted to enter the customization code. This code is a unique identifier that encrypts the console, the configuration administrator, and the workstation files that are created from the management tools. If you lose or forget this customization code, it cannot be recovered by Ferronix or any other third party, so it is recommended that this code is documented safely. The code must be at least 8 characters long and can be alphanumeric. Once you've entered the code, click on Next. Once again, you'll be prompted to document the code safely since it cannot be recovered or viewed again after this point. Once you've documented the code as the customization code, click on the Finish button and the console should launch automatically. Once the console has launched, wait for it to initialize. Once it has initialized, expand the local host node on the left-hand side and expand the available configurations node. Right-click on Deep Freeze and then select Add Configuration. From here, we'll be able to configure the settings for the Deep Freeze install package. The first tab you will see is the Passwords tab. At the Passwords tab, you'll be able to configure a workstation password, which will allow you to thaw or freeze the machine locally from the Deep Freeze interface. Additionally, you can configure a command line password to control Deep Freeze using command line options. Once you've configured your passwords, the next tab is the Drives tab. Here you can select which volumes you want frozen on your workstations. You can also set up a thaw space, which is a virtual partition where you can save data which will be retained across reboots, even when the machine is frozen. By default, external hard drives are kept thawed, for example, USB drives. If you want to change this, just uncheck the box. The next tab we have is the Workstation Task tab. Here you will be able to configure workstation tasks that will execute at predefined intervals. For example, you can set up a Windows Update task. In this example, we're going to set up a Windows Update task to occur every Wednesday starting at 12 a.m. and finishing once the Windows Update completes. Again, in this example, the machines will reboot thawed automatically at 12 a.m. on Wednesday, and once Deep Freeze detects that the updates are complete, the machines will automatically refreeze. You can configure additional options over here to allow the user to cancel the task, attempt to wake up locally if the machine is asleep, shut down after task, disable the keyboard and mouse so that users cannot make changes while the machines are thawed and performing updates, and you can also display a message before the task starts and during the task. Once the Windows Update task has been added and you click on OK, you'll be brought to the Windows Update tab 
which will allow you to configure additional Windows Update options, such as whether or not you'd like to cache the Windows updates, and also where you'd like to retrieve the updates from, either the Microsoft Windows Update website or a WSUS server. Once this has been configured, you can go back to the workstation tasks and configure additional tasks, such as restarting the workstations at a certain time of day, shutting them down, an idle time restart or shutdown, a batch file task, and a thawed period task. Once this is done, you can move over to the Advanced Options tab. In the Advanced Options, the first thing we're going to configure are the network options. If you have a simple environment, you can select the LAN option, and with this option, the console will seal workstations using broadcast. If you have a more complex environment with multiple subnets, we recommend using the LAN slash WAN option, and then you can specify the console IP address or the console name. If you select the console name, the host name will populate automatically. In this example, we're going to select LAN. You most probably will not need to change the advanced options, unless of course you are using command line options. The other options may or may not need to be changed, depending on your environment. You can also choose to hide the Deep Freeze Polar Bear icon on the workstation by unchecking the boxes in the Stealth Mode area. Once your settings are configured, give a name for the configuration and then click on OK. Once the configuration is created, select the drop-down and select Workstation Installer to create the workstation install package. You can save it to a location of your choice, preferably a network share where you can access this installer from the workstations themselves. Once this file has been created, you can go over to the workstation and run the file. This will install Deep Freeze on the workstation and freeze and protect them. To install Deep Freeze on the client workstation, simply run the Deep Freeze installer that we created. Once the install wizard pops up, click on the install button. The workstation will automatically reboot after the installation and come back up in a frozen state. At this point, it should also report into the console. Once the workstation is back online, you should be able to see the Deep Freeze Polar Bear icon in the system tray, if you have not used the Stealth Mode option. From here, you can open up the local interface if required by holding your Shift key down and double-clicking on the icon, or using the hotkey Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus F6. Enter the password to open up the local interface. From the local interface, you can boot thawed or boot frozen, reboot the machine, and also change the network settings. At the console, you should also now see the workstation showing up under the entire network node, and from here you can manage your Deep Freeze workstations by selecting them and right-clicking. Once you right-click, you should be able to see the options to perform actions, such as restarting the machines, shutting them down, waking up on LAN, rebooting thawed, rebooting frozen, sending a message, locking the keyboard and mouse, or unlocking it, updating the configuration, running Windows updates, or remote launching or push and launching an EXE or MSI file. There are a few other options as well, and if you have any questions on the options, or if you see any issues during the installation of Pharonix Deep Freeze Enterprise, please contact Pharonix Technical Support. Thank you.